Yo, I got my guy, Lancey Foe. What's going on, man? Yes, my boy. How you doing? I'm good, man. Hey, this is this is this is our first interview, right? Yeah, you know. Crazy. Yeah. I've been waiting for the right time. For like, sure. Like no, I wasn't. I it's crazy on my way here. I was just thinking, like, I was thinking about how long, like, like I'm not, like, how long I've known you and how much you've done. You know, how much you've done and how much you helped me, right, in the early stages when, when it wasn't like this. You know, so. It's our first interview, but it doesn't. It don't feel like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like we've, had, we've had conversation. And, yeah, I wasn't yeah. hounding you. I wasn't really that. I was just like, when it's right, like yeah, it's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. So, For sure. and and you know what? It's it's, yo, bro. To some people listening right now, they're gonna be like introduced to you for the first time. They're gonna be introduced to your music for the first time. It's, to some people right now, they may think you're the, you're a new artist. Yeah. But you've been putting in the work, man. A long time. Better work. Yeah, 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 yeah. A long time, man. In fact, before we get to the new project, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it back to a track that I was I was blazing on my show for weeks, weeks, months. I don't think anyone else had it, so <laughs> it's even better. So, you know, I'm going to take it back right now. Let's get into Starstruck. It's funny because the older songs are like... It kind of always happens. I think, I feel like every two years, every year and a half, I make a song, I don't necessarily, like, go... It's not crazy to me. Hmm. You know, it's not like a song where I'm like, oh, yeah, this is hard. But everyone just gravitates to it, mm. you know. And I already know, like, I always kind of know the moods I'm in when them songs are made. It's kind right. of like, it's when I care, like, the least. Right. Like, the least. That's when the magic care. happens, though, right? I get, well, yeah, I figured it out now. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. It's, it's, that's what it is. The, when I stop worrying about, like, oh, I've got to, like, all my bars got to be crazy, all my bars, all the melodies got to be... Like, when I stop thinking about that, that's when, like, the songs everyone loves come mm. out, Starstruck, right. India, Stilo. Right. Know. I mean, before that, I was blazing Guns N' Roses. Yeah. It's, like, even further Super back. old song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super old song. But, but this is what I'm saying. It's, like, the reason why I'm doing this now is to show, like, the breadth of, like, where, where you where you started and where you're at now. Mm -hmm. Like, look, Lance, I want to know, like, how, how do you get into rap, man? What made you pick up the microphone? Do you know what? At the time, the actual, I want to—I don't even want to say incident, but incident's the best word. The incident that got me into into music was actually a coincidence. But when I look back and I sit down and I'm like, look back at like my family, mm. my whole life, music was always there. But the actual moment was like, I had gone to meet someone. They was in the studio. They had an artist, their artist hadn't made a... They was in a 12-hour block session. Mm. Their artist had not made a song for those 12 hours. Like, really? I can't make this up. He was just... He didn't know what to write. He didn't know what to do. He didn't have no beat. He didn't have nothing. And I went in there. I was like, what? How long you got left? He was like, three hours or something like that. I was like, say no more. And I went on YouTube and snatched like a few beats. Just typing like whatever. The first thing that came to my mind, blah, blah, blah. Trap type, blah, blah. Anything type beat. I made like three songs. And when I went home, I was like... Oh, like, I listen to this all the time. Right. I, mean, I didn't get tired of listening to myself, which was like strange. Cause I didn't really like my natural speaking voice right. for a long time. Really? Yeah, I didn't like it. I just, right. I didn't, I couldn't. I don't know why. I just didn't like it. So when I first, when I made a song, and I was like, "What the hell?" I'm mm. not hearing myself. And then it was just more so that thing again of not caring, because mm. I wasn't making a song like to impress no one. I wasn't making a song to impress. The guys I was with, I wasn't pre uh, making a song to like, to like blow up. Mm. I just love music, right. and I was like, okay, let me try. I'm here. Let me just try and make a song, you know. Yeah. And then over time, things just kept showing themselves to me, you know. Mm. Like people would come up to me, or it would be little things. I'd be in a barber shop, I'm like, oh, yo, do you rap? I'm like, no. Or I'd be linking someone, yo, do you rap? I'm like, the hell no, mm. I'm rap, bro. I'm out of here, like, <laughs> I don't know about rapping, but. It just kept becoming clear, like, right. oh, you need to stop all this. Who, which, 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 which rappers inspired you? Which rappers gave you that audacity to, like, to start putting words together and recording them? If you had to pinpoint one, like, that means... Nah, do you know what it is? It's, this is the funniest thing. The rap really came after. Like, rappers... I've, someone asked me this the other day. I've got, like, probably 50 to 100 artists I genuinely love. Right. But... My dad was a DJ, and he used right. to play Congolese music. Right, right. And they right. would speak Lingala, they would speak a whole other language. So right. I hear the flows in there, I hear the cadences in there, I hear the melody. Right. And that's what made me, like, 
Like that's why I like rapping so much. Like right. that's why I like flow so much. That's why I like right. the science of music so much. Right. Cause I so you, you you went straight to the source. Yeah, where it all started. Yeah, and then obviously just you know, you, growing up being in London, grime and things like that. And then my my older brother would listen to like a lot of American music, whether it be mm. Max B, French Montana, Dipset, mm. whatever. Mm. And he would bring that, and then you go outside and get so. Cause I'm from East, so get so criminal or them guys are rapping mm. like just up the street, you know. Mm. So it was just a lot of people, but it's a pinpoint. In rap, like, it's definitely a mixture between like Skep, Gucci Mane, Future, mm. Wayne. Mm. I oh. did like I did. There was a hot minute, cause I'm born in '95, so there's a there's a hot minute. I really like Biggie, like crazy. Yeah. I was obsessed with like his songs. Right. The songs, all the rapping, but really the songs because it was amazing to me how like someone is lyrically gifted, mm. but the song still sounds like he's not trying. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like is again the science of music, mm. you know? Lyrics, bars, mm. meaning, purpose, sound, you know? That's what I'm really about. To pinpoint one rapper is very difficult. Right. Very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, big up your dad anyway, man. Big up all DJs, isn't it? Sure. Like, yeah, we do a lot man. out here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Telling you, man. But that's, that's dope because you must have been surrounded by sound your whole life. You must have, like, yeah, all different kinds. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't know until, like, probably, like, four or five years ago, bro. Wow. Four years, four years ago. It really sank in, like. I've really been around music my whole life. Wow. Somehow, somewhere. I just, I wasn't looking at it. I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that. I wanted to be like my brother wanted like you know I didn't really like it was only until I got to about 17 or 18 I looked in the mirror I'm like I'm hard like it's <laughs> me before I was just kind of looking around like what's life like what's going on mm. what is this? I never looked at music so this is all meant to be yeah this is your calling yeah certain things certain things do clar uh, confirm that like yeah you're meant to do this okay yeah. that's dope that's dope sure. that's dope alright so look we, we talked about the Lancy Classics, like where it all started and everything else, and that and that's that's when we first met because, you know, we we, we talked about throughout time we talk every now and then we have a conversation whatever whatever whatever, and and it's like it's dope to see you progress now. Earlier this year, I think was it this year or like late last year, the first degree project. Bro, you were angry on that. <laughs> what happened? Stop smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> is that For what sure. it does? No, nah, I don't think. I think I just. Uh, I made a lot of changes in my life. Right. Like at a certain period of time. Like around that time, actually. Mm. Beginning of this year. And it included like people I was hanging around, like. Get, like removing them. Stop, like not smoking weed, not mm. drinking, like trying to have a healthy diet, working out, mm. things like that. Is that important? Yeah, but the thing is, it opened like my eyes a bit too much. Mm. I saw like you know, ignorance is bliss, you know. When yeah, you don't yeah. know something's going on, you might yeah. just be like, it might help you just to guide and just kind of keep moving. I'm a fan of that. Yeah, but <laughs> but my yeah, my eyes are way too open, bro. And mm. I just saw things from like everywhere, and I was just like, what? And then things were being said to me, and that made that again that like kind of clarified to me. Oh, they. People think I'm like joking, like you know. I'm the coolest guy, but I just don't like being disrespected. I don't like being like someone assuming something. Mm. You ain't never sat down with me. You never like asked me a question, or you never like said, "Yo, bro, I just want to, I just want to talk." And then mm. you know, people are gonna like go and say things and mm. blah blah blah. And, like, so I just react to that, but all in the name of art, you know. <laughs> like I just react. I like that. See, I I know Lancey the coolest guy. So when I heard that, I was like, whoa! I was like, what's going on, man? Yeah. Like, and, then, and it's so funny though, because my like my closest people around me, they was like, oh yeah, that's him. Right. I was like, whoa! Is that how much like? Is that is this another character? Like, have I developed another character? If you're not around me, you've been around me all my life, and you're saying, yeah, that's yeah, go on, like that's you, bro. Mm. I'm like, what the hell? So who? You know? Yeah. But it's not that it's that. It's just you evolve and grow. And some people don't expect you to go back to, like, your mm. old self, bring that back and put mm. it in the art and blah, blah, You know? So, man, I wouldn't even say I was angry. I just, I just, 
my eyes were just open. Right. Yeah, my eyes were just open. Okay. But I'm I'm back to being cool now. Okay. Let's get into this joint. What you want? It's from First Degree, Lancy Foe, Skepta. Yo, how did you and Skept connect? Because Skepta's a massive fan of you. He's always supporting you. He's always shouting you out. You I guys like have Christ. done a lot of tracks together. And, you know, he's turned up at your show. You turned yeah. up at his show. And, he's you know, he's, he's, you know, he's bringing you through. Like, he's supporting you. And Skept, Skept, Skept's like, he's like that guy in the scene that, like, if he... If he co-signs you, you're official. You know what I mean? He's Definitely. he's he's a pioneer. Like for sure. So, yeah. How did that? How did that 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 friendship that that working relationship start? Do you know what's so funny? I think um, I definitely had been to that. It's like seeing my wireless. I'd always seen Skep like just places, but never really connected like that. I don't. I don't think he knew that like, I did music those earlier times, but. Mm. Um, I'd always seen him, and then one day he just DM'd me, and he's like, "Yo, bro, just I think it was like Sassy or one song like that." And he's like, "The song's crazy." I was like, "Appreciate you, bro." bro, bro. And then we we linked up from there, went to the studio, and then that was it, man. Just like the guys, like everyone's just family. Mm. You know, it was just almost like natural. Almost like yeah, we've known each other like for years, type thing. But he's he's definitely an integral part of you know everything I'm going on for sure. Mm. So he says the right words. And like, sometimes like you don't really, you don't really have a lot of people that genuinely like care. Mm. I always say you're lucky if you, in your life, right? I, I've been around a few years. Yeah. If you can count and you have five, four, five people that have helped you out. Yeah. You, you've done very, very well. For sure. Cold world. It is. You know? It is. And like I'm always, I never take it for granted. Not even just for him, just for just for anyone that helps me. I always mm. try and like. I try and do something, you know, even whether mm. it be big or small. But even like the most important thing is taught me really being around skeptics to do the same for like other artists, you know. Right. Like other art like as masterpiece and like people like that and mm. younger artists that I just mm. always have my hand out for, you know. Mm. The same way he has his hand out for me. So Yeah man. What 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 what's what's one piece of advice that you've taken from him or you've taken on board and it, it's really helped you and it really helped you come through? Just, just... It's okay to live in your own world, like, for sure. You know? It's un like... Skip does so many different things, but it's him. It's it's always him, whether he does clothes or whatever. And it's like... Everyone in our... Everyone in our family, I'll say, like, we are all on the same thing as a whole, but... Individually, we're all on our own thing, you know? Mm. And that's the most important thing. So that's one thing I've taken. I, I live by that. Like, I'm on my own swag all the time. But mm. when the gang get together, it's like, you can mm. see we're a unit, you know? Mm. So, for sure. The UK is in a great place for rap at the moment. It's the greatest ever. Yeah. Like, I've, I've seen it when it is, it is horrible. <laughs> Skepta us as well. Like, we, we had to survive. Certain, in certain moments in time, we had to survive just, yeah. to, just to, like... Just, 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 just to like perform or like to, to to play music or whatever. But now it's like it's totally different. So right now in the UK, you got UK rap, you got UK drill, you got Afro swing, you got wave music, um, you got all these other styles that are coming through on a daily basis. But you're none of them. You're like your own thing. Like how how easy has it been to just stand on your own and be like, this is what I'm doing. Um, it's not difficult at all. The thing is, a lot of people. This and <laughs> this is why it's funny because it's like, if you're to um, if you're to line me up with like with the most popular artists out here, and you said to someone who's never heard my music or doesn't know what I'm about to put me in the list, right? I'm probably always gonna come last, but. If you take all that way and like look at whose things are most organic, it's mine. Because I just I don't worry about anything else other than making my type of music and honing my style, you know? Mm. Like and then inspiring people to do the, the same thing. Mm. I'm not here to be like worship or like I don't even know the right word, but to like be putting that thing and yeah, you're the you're the uh, you're the token or you're the diss or it's like yeah. oh. 
Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It ain't about that. Yeah. It needs to be a hundred me's. It needs to be a hundred so and so and a hundred, like, mm. you know? And then it will branch off. And, do you know? Did, did you, because we, we've all seen the waves, right? And did you ever feel the pressure to be like, oh, um, maybe I should try this? I thought sweet. Yeah, people you know? do it every like, day. People do it oh, every day. Oh, boy, this UK drill thing is like, you know, oh, you know what I mean? Is, is, is there ever where, yeah. Like, people, did you ever? people do it every day. When I say that, I mean, like, people try and persuade me every day. Really? Yeah. Every single day. Right. And like, and that's why I first degree in them, them things. Like <laughs> but like people, people, because you know, it's, it's a big like, <clears throat> no matter how small artists, big artists, you got a team and you got people that mm. you feed and you got people like, that represent you and you got mm. people that like, are around you and they want the best for you but sometimes mm. they don't get the fundamentals of this. They don't mm. understand that like, in 10, 20, 15 years' time, my, I would, like, the same music I'm making, mm. I still want to do that. Right. Like, not in a literal sense, but, like, I want to be on, in my style. I don't want to have to, like, make a certain song and then live the rest of my career making songs that I know is not me and I don't like mm. and I can't, even, I can't even bear to listen to them or I mm. can't even, like... You know, I just... I, just, I, I see something for myself and it's just mm. me being myself. Mm. It's not, like... I'm not, bro. This is the ocean. I don't want to ride no like other wave. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's dope. Yeah. You know, you know, the, you know what the end result is though. Your live show. What happens is when you when you when you focus on your own, on your own, ocean of creativity, right? Not the wave, like your own creative ocean. When you do the live show. It's the Lancy experience. It's not a, you know what I mean? It's not like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not, I've it's seen not, it not even to like... It's not a clip, yeah. Yeah, that's, and that's what I'm saying. Not even to like, do that to anyone, but... <laughs> these guys are having top songs, bro. They're not sending out the show, and, and even if they are, the show's not rocking. It's not, it's not, not, not like, no one's leaving that show changed. Mm. People leave my show changed now. Artists, the supporters, like, people behind the scenes t down security all them people mm. there's something different now to think about mm. you know and that's that was always my intention like I always said from the beginning I don't have to like I don't have to play with the numbers mm. you know like mm. that's I'm when a, it gets polluted right when you yeah I'm gonna stretch them I'm not gonna like squeeze the numbers out again mm. the next two years I wanna ah, I'm not gonna <laughs> do that I'm gonna stretch it like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stretch it I'm gonna gradually yeah. grow I'm gonna gradually like take off everything and when you look back, you're going to be like, bro, he was there. He was always there. Maybe mm. not in plain sight, but he was always there. I've been around everyone. Like, mm. I've been around a lot of artists. I've been around a lot of, a lot of waves. Mm. You know, sometimes I just didn't make myself visible, but I was there. And I'm, mm. that's why I understand this whole thing like, mm. and how I need to do it. I think it's even, even to the way that we're talking now. It, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't pressure. It wasn't how oh God is coming out. No, no, no. It wasn't like you know what I mean. And it wasn't. It's the right time, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the yeah. same thing. You know, it's one of them. It's calm. That's just how I live, though. Mm. A lot of people like my girl, my girl be like annoyed at me. I was just so laid back. Mm. It's only until I'm really not happy with something <clears throat> that's when I jump out and like. But mm. I really laid back because nothing has to be rushed mm. at all. Mm. I don't know. You know, what's so funny. Mm. I like driving my car super fast, even if I'm not late. Really? That's the only time I feel like I'm rushing. I don't rush anything at all. Right. Everything's like, time is... It's numbers, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right, so... We just talked about your show. And recently, you, you was at one of the bigger shows in the US. Like, the Kanye West listening party. Oh, like, yeah, for sure. How... how Yo, I wanted to be there, man. I, I really did. Should have been there. Yo, I, I couldn't get out there. Like, what was that like? What, just the show or just everything? The, the whole thing. Like, you was, you was there. It's funny. It's funny, Sam. I don't... I couldn't actually tell you properly right now. Really? Yeah, because things don't, like, it's... I'm not a person, yeah, that something happens and I'm like, damn. Right. Maybe in two years, I'll be like, do you know what? This happened yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But, like, I tell, like, my guys in, lits, in bits and pieces. Mm. I think the most... 
the way to summarize it was everything I saw, I believed I could, I could do. Like, okay. I, be, I was like, okay. Okay. I'm inspired enough to like yeah. take this to make my version of what I've, mm. what I've seen, you know. I respect that because then people that can look you in the eye and say that, it happens. Mm. I've seen it. Like when a man will say to me, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I've seen him do it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So Kanye does a listening event, not a show, a listening event in front of 60,000 to 80,000 people. Crazy. Mm. Well, Lancey, I'm a Kanye stand man. I need to know. I need to detail. <laughs> like, how did this come about? How was you in the building? Like, how was you... All right, so, so what, what actually had, like, there's some things I'll tell you, you know, but what actually had happened was we were... I was in L.A., he was already in Vegas. He had called mm. me one morning and we had like an hour conversation. We spoke about like a bunch of things. And he's so like, he was on the phone to Kanye West for an hour? Yeah, like an hour, 45 minutes an hour. We had a joint call with Michelle Lamy as well during this conversation. I don't care about that person. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking um, to Kanye. So at, by the end of the conversation, he's like, oh, you know what? Just uh, come to Vegas. Uh, get your team and come to Vegas. So I was like, okay, like, whatever got everyone ready and we went out there so we went out there and everyone's wearing black he's like wear black so everyone's wearing black blah blah, blah. walked in and then there's like Pusha and the whole his whole team in there and then he's like yeah so uh we're working on an album but we got a few more songs and then this is the thunder album yeah so i'm just thinking we're gonna stay in vegas like hmm. i don't know for yeah, yeah. a week or whatever then the next day, he's, he texts me in the morning, like, first thing, like, 9 a.m. He's like, yo, come in the room, bro. So I came in, and he's like, yeah, so have a look at this. And he's showing me something. He's like, yeah, we're going to go to the stadium and do a listening party. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, we're going to do a listening party. We're going to play all the songs. But the album wasn't finished yet. Mm. It wasn't, like, they probably was, the, out of the songs that's out now, there's probably half of those songs was done. Really? Yeah. Like, wasn't finished at all but yeah. those are the songs he was like mm. intending to play and then some extra songs that no one else has heard mm. so we go and do that but this is the funniest thing though because no one knows this but when we got off the the plane to go to the stadium that wasn't like him staying it wasn't really the initial plan right yeah like something something happened when he got off the plane Right. I didn't see. Right. When we got into the stadium, he's hot, everyone's hopped out the cars and he's go, yo, so when I was coming off the plane, I just like thought to myself, we just can't be slipping. That's what he said. Right. He told everyone that like, we can't be slipping. I'm like, what the hell is... Yeah. He's like, we can't be slipping out here. So you know what? Call all the studios, bring everything here. We're staying in the stadium. We're going to lock in. We're going to... Yeah, we're doing everything from the stadium. I looked around like... Oh. Where the hell? Like, a stadium? Like, mm. But I was with it, though. I was like, okay, cool, I get it. I get it. I, yeah. I probably questioned for, like, a really split second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm yeah. with it. And then we do that. Everything comes in. And then he just leaves. He just leaves and goes to the hotel. But everyone's ready to right. stay in the stadium. He right. just leaves, goes. Right. Next day, he comes back, and then that's when he settles in. Right. And the rest is like everything you guys have seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just moving around and like seeing the way he's operated, the way his team, the way his team works for him. Um, just how he thinks. Like, mm. there's like some things he does here that I'm like, what the hell? Do I look? I had to ask my boys when I got back. Like, bro, how am I in the studio? Like, mm. am I like? Do I look crazy? Mm. Do I look like? Not to say he's crazy, but like, do I look? That focus, mm. his focus is really ins is inspiring, for sure, mm. you know. But then again, he's at the point where anything he thinks he can do, mm. which is like another thing I took that I'm like, damn, that's, that's the level. Mm. You think something, and it's a really sick thought, by the way. It's not like a dream. It's not like, you know, some people might be like, ah, oh, man, I wish I could do this, or I yeah, wish yeah. I could. He's He thinks like, and he's very receptive like to opinions right as long as they're good so yeah, it's yeah like we could be in a room like this and i could just say 
what color should I, what color light should I do? And mm. everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna say, everyone's gonna get a chance to say, you know, mm. their answer, and he's just mm. gonna pick the best one. I had one experience of being in the studio with him when he was recording, and it's at the time when Mr. Hudson was working with him. Yeah, yeah. And he said, "Sam, make sure you get Haribo, you get a bottle of Hennessy." Da 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 da. da. And I was like. What? Haribo, like what, really? Oh, that's me. This, this, this was years ago. Yeah. This is like this is like eight oh eight, some heartbreak ever, right? So I was like, all right, cool. So, <laughs> like, we were we were in some studio in Northwest London, right? And I'm like, he's running late, and this is when he was seeing Amber Rose. So he's running late. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going Woody's. Like, <laughs> I'm going Woody's for a mixed grill, right? We're walking down the road somewhere in Northwest London. And then, um, yo, we see this car pull up, right? It's like one of the Mercedes people carriers. Yo, Sam! Yo, he gets out, right? And this is when he was wearing suits and everything. Oh, yeah, he yeah. gets out. He's like, yo, what are you doing? I was like, yo, I'm about to go in Woody's, you know, get a mixed grill. He's like, oh, words? I, I was like, yo, bro, you should probably meet us at the studio. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you should yeah, really yeah. be in Woody's, you know what I mean? Like... It's like, and he's like, okay. So he goes to the studio and then catch up with him there. I allowed him to mix grill in it. I'm like, no, 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 I can't get to the studio. <laughs> he was on the corner. So he go to the studio, right? And then they they were they were working on tracks together, Hudson and Kanye. And it's really fascinating because it's like, you know, I, I heard stories about Jay Z, how he doesn't write things down. And you know when you hear these things, like these mythical stories, like, you know, yeah, at some point you've got to write something down. You know, you, you kind of question them, right? But with this, it was like I seen him putting lines together on the spot and he does all this no 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 just 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 mumbling <laughs> and then it turns into words and then it turns into and he's like and then he's looking for words and he's like yo what do you think and he's asking everyone in the room like the engineer yeah, yo what yeah, do you, anyone it. can get involved like anyone in the room yo what do you think da, 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 da. and then someone will just suggest a word and they'll be like no 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 and five minutes later I'm going to use that yeah da, 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 da. He said, yeah, that was an excellent idea of me. You know, like, it's, yeah. like, it's funny with yeah. it and everything else. And then, and then, um, he was really nice. He was just really nice and everything Super with the nice engineer. There was, it, she was like, she was under pressure. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? She's only used to indie bands and everything yeah. else. And she's like, and he's like, yo, yo, do this take. Da, 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 da. And he kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And this is when he started singing. So people weren't really used to it. And it was like, it was fascinating. Yeah. Really, I've never seen anyone work like that. The moral of the story is now, anytime, anytime I book a studio for anyone or anything else, Henny and Haribo. <laughs> Seriously. And, for and it, for it me, you ain't got to worry about the Henny, but the Haribo. <laughs> I'm a sweet, like, that's, I relate to that one. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Sweet. It's crazy. But I mean, I mean, look, you, you're Lancy Foe, the UK's own Lancy Foe, and, you, and you're, you're vibes in with, with Ye, right? So, what, what, what did you what did you take from that? Like what yeah, what what's happening? A lot like again, I would have I'm to, not like, looking for you to self snitch or whatever. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll I'll Devil. explain to you. You're my right. boy. I All right. I got you. But um just just work, man, and like the same I'm a man of like if I tap in with you, especially if you're an artist. And like we build something or like we, we really get understand. It's about ethos. Mm. So if your ethos is correct, then I'm a I'm with you. Mm. You know? Same way with Skep or like any artist that you see me around, like mm. their ethos is everything and like he, he actually the ethos of God and like, you know, doing good and like mm. he's a proper nice guy, he's got a positive mm. positive message. Mm. And I'm with that. And then mm. he believes in like He's all for uplifting black people, mm. for sure. Like, and I'll explain to you why. But like, yeah, man. So that I'm just, I'm just with that. So it's like a lot more of like, I don't even know the word, bro. But there's, there's a, there's a few things that I'm gonna do that people are gonna be like, okay, this is not, this is not just music, mm. you know. And he's, he's definitely like shown me like that other side where it's not music take it all the way up there don't just play around with it mm. really take it there you know so a lot more of that man a lot more stuff outside of music okay okay let's start let's start all right 
Your new project. Tell us about that. Live Evil. Why is it called Live Evil, man? Look, come on, man. Lancey, man. The last mixtape, you was like, saying all kinds of stuff. You was like, angry, aggy and everything else. And now you say Live Evil. What's going I just, on, man? You know what it is, Samuel? I just, and I always say this, I just understand that everything is, is two-sided. Hmm. Like, Earth, life, as we live it. Some days are great, some days are not great. Uh, mm. You know? I just embrace that. I don't, like, go around... Like, I don't post on Instagram every day I'm having a great day. I also don't post on Instagram, like, negative stuff all the time, mm. you know? I just understand there's two sides. And when I say live evil, it's like living. I'm living. Life, to me, is like... That word, lived, is good. It's positive. You breathe, right? You go through. Twist it around. It's evil. So then what, like, like, what's... So much dark things are in, like, this same life that is, you know, that we breathe and whatever. So I just embrace both sides. And, like, on the tape, you get the turn-up moments, then you get the moments that's kind of retrospective. Then you get, like, the, mm. the little, like, love moments. And then you get, like, that affirmation of, like, you know what, I feel like there's something... There's something over me. There's something, like, mm. bigger than all of this. So... That's what it is. And then also, you know, Life in Hell is the main album. That's the main, like, that's the big ticket. Mm. So this is almost like, it's just like a little star. Okay. Because when I, that, that's a whole nother level. And I know it. I shouldn't have even really said it like that, but like, I know where my intention is for the next, I know what I'm going to do for the next, probably 10 projects, bro. I can't make this up. Yeah. Because I make so much music and I like live this thing. I don't, I don't stop being an artist. Even if I seem like I'm doing something regular, like I'm, I don't stop being an artist. Like, I'm always thinking, you know. So I have so many concepts, so many plans. But this within this period right now, live evil, life in hell. Like I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to show people something. I'm trying to like really explain. Like yo, you're gonna have good days. You're gonna have bad days. But it's really the same. Mm. Don't don't separate it. Like. Under, be ready for your bad days as you're ready for your good days, you know? Beautiful struggle. Exactly. And it only makes you stronger, mm. really. So, mm. that's what it is, man. I like the respect, John. Oh, really? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was like good. project? Yeah. It's, um... That again, man, we was in New York. We caught a crazy vibe in New York. An insane vibe, one I can't. You probably can't do that again, you know? And that's how those songs were coming. The one with Lil Yachty. Uh, there was a bunch of other songs that didn't make it, but it was a certain pocket of music. It was like... It's got that that mm. that, that deepness to it, like, mm. in terms of the 808s, when it's, it's got lyrics in it, it's got bars in it, but it's really just about the vibe, like, like chaotic, like, mm. movement. That's going to tear up any show. For sure. We know this. Any show. <laughs> I like tracks like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's the balance though, man. It's mm. like... See, again, I'm like, a, I'm like a scientist, bro. So, of course, I love the vibes and I love the show ones, but I, I love like hearing bars, bro. Mm. I love bars. I love lyrics. And then I love sound. And it's like I'm always trying to get perfection out of both. I'm trying to like... I have a lot of songs where I'm doing things that people don't really expect me to be doing that's mm. not out yet. Where I'm really going into my bars, I'm really trying to like... You have to listen to it ten times to be like, what the hell? Like, oh, he, that's what he meant, bro. Like, I'm about that, mm. you know? So this project is... It's not as hard as like... <clears throat> I'll go in terms of lyrics, mm. but the vibe is there for sure. Okay. The vibe is there. Okay. I want to talk about Big Swag. How do you get 24K Golden on the track, man? He's, he's one of the biggest songwriters right now. He's, he's like... He, I, I how did that happen? I never saw that coming. How did that happen? I don't see all that. Like, mm. I don't give a damn. I like him, though. He knows this because we've had this conversation. Like, right. You know? But with that being said, like, the reason why I like Golden so much because when we, when we do talk, he'll tell me, like, bro, you know, like, I respect the fact that you do it like this. Blah, blah, blah. It's mm. almost like an... Not an exchange, but like we, we get to understand each other's, hmm. you know, because he's in a whole different world. Like it's super polished, it's like up there, which I, I admire. I don't really see myself in those shoes, but I admire it. And I guess it's like the same way for him, you know. So, 
I really, I really just like him. I just mm. think he's a sick guy and he's super honest and he's super himself. So mm. like, of course I'm gonna do music. That's just how I am, you know. When I vibe with someone, it's like anything you want, you know, type of thing. But um, we um. I think he had sent a song, I had sent that song, and that's the one he recorded on. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's how it came about, man. And then when we was in LA, we linked up. Like, we didn't, we didn't even make no music. Right. We just linked up, went and get something to eat, all regular stuff, went to the cinema, like, right. real regular stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you see? Oh, Josie and, what's the film called? Josie and the Pussycats or something like that. Right. It's actually, do you know I, what's so I, I, funny though? I don't. I'm gonna find. Right. I'm gonna find it. When this comes, when this comes out, I'm gonna post right. it. Right. That film is actually insane. I, I'm not mocking. I'm not mocking you, man. I'm just trying to go along. It's with you, about really. music. Right. I'm, I'm not. I like. I'm a film guy, in it, but I, I haven't heard of that. One. It's about music and the music industry and like right. advertising. It's the sickest. Right. It's like. Okay. I was sitting there watching it, looking around, like, what the hell? Am I in a movie? That's really. Yeah. It like it makes one of them. <laughs> What it makes right. me made me think. What is this happening to me? Right, <laughs> but I like it. I like right. it. It's hard. Right. You're from East London, and you're an Englishman in New York, Atlanta, Las Vegas, <laughs> LA, and you know you're coming through. You're working with some of the biggest artists of our time. What's the reception like out there for like English rap? Because you know everyone out here. It's their dream to make it over there, isn't it? Like, that's it. You break America, like, you break America, you break the world. Yeah. Like, you know, you can't look at it like that. There's yeah. other areas you can break and be equally as big. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're essentially trailblazing by being out there as an artist. Like, what what's it like, man? Like, how's the, res how's the reaction? How's the response? They yeah, love us, man. They love us. And when I got back, I'd said to all the men, I'm like, use lot. Next time I go back, everyone needs to come because... I want, I want, I want them to like really be around us and feel us properly, you know. Especially in New York, because there's not too much different. Right. We're very. It's just kind of like it's the alternate, but it's right. the same. The cultures are the same. Really? We semi listen to the same music because they listen to us. Right. Like the drill, and they, yeah. they listen to that. Yeah. And a we a listen to them. ASAP Ferg says skeptics is known as me in New York, but like, even just to hear. A New York guy admit that, like, yeah. you know, New York's mad ignorant. Like, they don't care yeah. about no one. But for him to say that, I was like, wow, it's a new day. They love us, man. Especially when we like, when we, when we, we be ourselves, but then we also like, you know, embrace what they're doing, and like, kind of. One thing I realized is like, I've been going to the states for like some years, hmm. and when you get used to like the culture, the accents and everything, it's like it's just like regular living, isn't it? So I don't I everything else becomes removed. It's not like I don't see the barrier that everyone else sees. I don't mm. see that, oh man, like mm. when people be talking about accent, but when they listen to my music, they don't really say that. Right. They don't they don't mention that. They feel like they can understand certain things and I don't know man. My whole my vision is one day I see Everything being one, like it's not separate. Mm. You know, I see them receiving our artists like, uh, one like one of our guys is from Atlanta or Florida. Or like, I see them receiving us like that. You know, I don't know at this point what it will take, but it's happening like splurge. You know, mm. like Giggs has got loads of tunes with mm. American artists. Skep's got loads of tunes with American artists. I got loads of tunes with American artists. There's so many. I know Russ and people for like that are trying like to get more songs with the artists. Soon it's gonna be one, for sure. From the top down all the way to the bottom, like the underground artists, the top, mm. top artists, like they already Ed Sheeran already does that, like, you know. Mm. But yeah. yeah, man, I just feel like a lot of people are so used to certain things being a certain way. These kids are growing up every day, going on TikTok and doing something different, mm. or like changing something, or changing the perception, or changing like. So it's only a matter of time, mm. you know. The TikTok thing's crazy. Yeah, man, it's, it's I'm not... It's crazy. And, and, you know, it's crazy for a lot of reasons. Because <laughs> I know a lot of A&R men are like, yo, you, to people, you need to be on TikTok. Yo, <laughs> just TikTok. Forget that. But the fact that there's a 70-year-old kid from Croydon uploads something, never done a show before, 
never been on radio, never never even done a live set or anything. Yeah. Can throw something up and within two days they're viral worldwide. It's crazy. I think that's beautiful. It's crazy. It's it's the biggest the biggest selling UK rap act in the US ever right now, Young T and Bugsy. Went viral during the pandemic. Yeah. Don't rush. They deserve they, it. Crazy. They deserve it. No, no. They deserve it more because that's a good song. But that but two guys from Nottingham, crazy. You know, and it's like what you were saying about everything being one. It's like you know, I'm from Manchester. I came through when it used to be a thing. Like, oh, the man are from coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, when I was coming through, it was all of that. But yeah. now it's like it's not even that. It's not even. And it's like you said, the barriers are coming down by the day. Yeah. It's mad. And I'm, I'm like, even with that, I see it as like, like I kind of hate. I don't hate genres, mm. and I don't hate like organization. But I just feel like sometimes it gets in the way too much. Mm. And that's why I make the music that I do. Like, mm. I'm not gonna make like. On every tape, I do at least two songs that's not, like, rapping or not, like, mm. what you expect me to do, you know? Because I believe in, like, everyone should just be allowed to do what they feel. Mm. When, like you said, with, when a kid from TikTok blows up, the reason why I say it's beautiful because he doesn't have to go through a system to be who he is, mm. you know? Like, he hasn't got to, like, let someone control him and say, oh, yeah, you got to do it like this. Mm. He just went there and did it, or she just went mm. there and did it, TikTok or not. Mm. Go out the gate mm. and inspire someone else, or blah blah blah. Like, and you know, it's mad. Fifteen seconds of a song is putting you on worldwide. That's crazy. Pros and cons, but mad. yeah, it's mad. it's crazy. Mad. Like it's just just even. I know I know what people do in the studio. I know how much work work it takes. I know people who spend their whole life writing mm -hmm. in that moment or to mm -hmm. express themselves. But it's a fifteen second snippet that yeah can change everything. Mad. And that's, but this is the thing, this is like, and this, when I say about everything being down, I really mean like everything being down. So that means that kid that did do the TikTok and went crazy can live in the space of someone like going crazy lyrically or like mm. that just wants to do radio freestyle that, that doesn't want to be involved in social media like mm. games. We, we should all live like in the same, mm. you know, that kid can go sell at his arena, mm. this put like Hack Baker or someone like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. can play guitar and yeah, yeah. Doesn't have to post, doesn't have to do nothing. Mm. Live in the same way. That's that's what I mean. Like, let's let's not shut one thing down to lift up another thing. Let's just mm. like build everything up slowly, slowly, so until it's like, okay, cool. And then we can figure out some new system then, mm. you know? But let everyone come through, let everyone see everyone and everything. Mm. And then make the decision. Because if when we keep getting fed certain things after a certain point, it's like, damn man, we've been listening to my mouth for Four, five, six years. We don't even like him, but he's headlining every this and that. <laughs> oh, wow, like what's? I want to hear my man. And like, it's it's funny because every time like wireless and one of the things come out, like, mm. fans be like, "Why are you not doing wireless, man? Mm. It's not, you know." Mm. But the next person after me, he's he doesn't make like the whatever that everyone listens mm. to. You should be able to have a six mm. like wireless. Mm. And show everyone there's a new sound or show everyone there's a new vibe, like, you know? Yeah. That's what we're playing for. We're playing for everyone to, like, win, man. You know what surprised me? It's the Poison joint. I, I didn't expect you to do that. You got crazy. We got a lot of songs like that. Yeah. Man. And then, and, you know, shout out to Bakar. It is it is a dope, a very, very dope moment that was not like anything else. Yeah. I, I just didn't... And, and it was totally different like you know the same way that you know I've heard you do different yeah, things yeah. I just didn't expect it it's yeah. you know, it crazy yeah man again that's like I don't have no limit I don't have no there's nothing controlling me to say oh you gotta make this or like even when people say things I just like I hear it but it's like, I just go off and, and do what I'm, I'm supposed to do that song there's a few other songs that I've made in that world I feel like that was like the one to best introduce it, mm. you know? Like, Life and Death on the Friend of Four album is, like, in that realm, mm. you know? It's thoughtful, meaningful. It strikes something. Mm. Because it's not about, like, I'm not just turned up and, you know? Like, I'm actually going through something or one of my brothers might have gone through something or I had a conversation with someone that was, like, they were feeling like this and I lived with it and I was like, okay, that means this, that's where it goes. I follow my instincts with music all the time. Mm. You know, Poison was just one of those ones, like, follow your instinct. You know, this is the mood, this is how you feel right now. 
go there. You've already made 300 turn up songs this week. Poison, you know. Mm. So, and I love the I love songs like that. I love making them. I love performing them. Just as much as I love the turn up ones. Are we gonna see a Lancy Fo festival? Like my own festival? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Somehow, some way, man. It's funny you say that because uh I had a meeting the other day and at the beginning of the meeting I told him I don't want to do no shows. Right. Like at the beginning of the meeting I told him I'm not doing no shows, don't Right. No one can book me. Right. I don't want to do nothing. And she said something, said something, said something. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do every show. Right. You know, so now definitely I see that happening, man. And even when I do my shows now, I always, like my last couple of shows, I always try and bring out like some of new artists, people I like listening to, people I like, people I just think mm. that my fans or whoever need to hear about. Mm. So uh, me doing a festival, man, like, inevitable. I never to. I don't know when, but I never to. Okay. You know? okay. Listen, we we could do this for another two hours. <laughs> right. you know I mean, so like, appreciate you taking the time Thank out to do this, man. Is is this your first time on Capital Extra? Yeah. Damn. Did it the right way. <laughs> yeah, because you know, I won't even lie to you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this with anyone else. Right. Like well, we've had conversations, and like we, I feel like we got a sick understanding. And, like I don't talk to just anyone, you know. Right. So. No, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Anytime, man.